Well, a very good morning and welcome to another video. Today I'm in the pretty Cotswold villages of East Leach Martin and East Leach Turville. Now it's April the 1st here in Great Britain, but I'm not joking when I say that these two picture postcard villages are absolutely what I would call classic Cotswolds, with the beautiful River Leach meandering slowly through them both. Two beautiful churches dating as far back as the 12th century, a traditional village pub built originally as a coach house in the 1600s, and a rather unusual clapper bridge that crosses the River Leach, linking the two villages, and originates from medieval times. We're going to start here in East Leach Martin, and naturally we're going to go and pay a visit to the church here, of St Michael and St Martin's Church, although most locals call it Boothrop Church. Now before we go inside the church, have a look around the churchyard, a big thank you to all my subscribers and my watchers. If you don't already, please do subscribe. It really helps the channel and you'll never miss another video. And please do leave a comment if you enjoy the videos. The church was founded in the 12th century by Richard Fitzpons. In the 19th century, the churchman John Keeble was curate here. You may have heard of Keeble. Not only was he a poet and a writer, but Keeble College, Oxford, one of the most prestigious colleges at Oxford University, was named after him. Now, sadly, this church no longer holds regular services, although you can get married here and you can be baptised here, I believe. But thankfully, it's still open to the public. It's a beautiful little church, so we're going to go and have a look around. Come with me. Let's go and explore the church of St. Martin's. Now, we're just going to have a little wander outside first. Um, the sun's come out. It's not a bad day. It's Bank Holiday Monday in Great Britain, so everyone's off. But um, this is a very quiet place. I thought there'd be more visitors here. As I say, it's classic Cotswolds, the sun's shining, lots of daffodils out in this village. It's such a picturesque place. But I've come here almost to myself, so I'm very lucky. And I'm just showing you some of the little area here, because when the sun's out, there's nowhere more beautiful than England, I think. And, uh, yeah, I mean, look at that church. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? So we're going to go inside now, and uh, I hope you enjoy our little tour around the church.
So we're carrying on our walk um, and we're just coming up to the main river. This is the Leech that obviously uh, the two villages are partly named after. It's a fairly slow meandering sort of river, quite shallow, but I expect there's some plenty of trout in there. And if you're a keen angler, that'd be a lovely place to come. But um, yeah, on a day like this, it just looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? Now, as I said a little bit earlier, um, it's Easter here in Great Britain. It's the 1st of April and it's Bank Holiday Monday. We've had a shockingly bad uh, rainy winter and uh, this is one of the few days where we've seen the sun. And I'm so pleased that the daffodils are out here today because they look absolutely beautiful in the sunshine, don't they? They are really a lovely, a lovely flower and a real sign that spring is on the way and better weather and, and uh, better times ahead, I think. Well, this is the second church, and this is the church of Eastern Turville. And this is, of course, an Andrew's church. And it was built in the 12th century. And the most striking feature of East Leach Church is the uh, Saddleback West Tower, built in the late 13th or early 14th century, with its finely shaped windows in the churchyard. And there's also the base of the medieval cross here as well, if I can find it. But it's another lovely church. This one is uh, used for Sunday worship. There was a service on here earlier today. There was obviously a service yesterday. And yeah, it's um, where the parishioners of both villages come along uh, to worship. So let's have a look around the Church of St. Andrews.
Now this is undoubtedly the most photographed area of each leech turville. This is the what's known as the Clapper Bridge. It's a medieval stone bridge designed for horses and people to cross the River Leech. And it's known locally as Keeble's Bridge, named after John Keeble, who I mentioned earlier, um, was the curate, curate at the other church of St. Michael and St. Martin's. It's an absolutely stunning little place. And it's, as I say, it's classic Cotswolds. Now up here, you can hear probably uh, an aircraft. This is, this is coming from Fairford. We are only three miles from Fairford, which is a big uh, air base. They have a big uh, air tattoo every year. And the one downside about this lovely village is that especially in the summer, you do get an awful lot of aircraft flying quite low and they are quite noisy. So during that tattoo, I really do feel sorry for the locals here because it must be quite deafening. So we're carrying, carrying on now with the walk and we're now officially in East Leach Turville. No one quite knows where East Leach Martin ends and East Leach Turville begins. They're two separate villages in two different parishes, that's well as two different churches. But they seem to just beautifully segment together and when you walk along you just don't notice any difference. But this is officially the Turville side of East Leach and again it's just full of Cotswold stone cottages and and, and uh, beautiful gardens, beautiful flowers this time of year. And yeah, let's, let's enjoy a little bit of a leisurely stroll along East Leach Turville.
Now, just over there across the road is another of the lamp, big landmarks here. You probably notice that clock tower above that um, row of beautiful cottages. Um, that's known as the East Leach Turville Clock Tower. And the architect for the tower and the cottages beneath was one Henry Astley Derbyshire. He was no local jobbing practitioner. He was actually one of the nation's most important high Victorian architects and very famous in his day. It's an absolutely stunning building and the uh, two-sided clock tower dominates this little part of the village. Now here, these little cottages here, that, they're not what's known as the arms houses. And they were built around 1871. And they were gifted by generous local benefactors to house the sick and the poor from the village. Now you may have noticed around the walk um, the constant noise of uh, birds in the air. Now, these are the rooks of East Leach and they're quite famous. They nest in these trees around the village and um, yeah, they make quite a racket. But uh, yeah, they're all part of the tapestry here. And here we have a little feline friend that's come to say hello. Beautiful little cat there. Look at him or her. So we're just coming up to one of my favourite places of the village and that's the Victoria pub, the Village Inn. It was formerly a private house, complete with an attached coach house and it dates back to the early 16th, uh, sorry, 18th century. It wasn't until 1856 that somebody had the idea of turning it into an inn. It's a quintessential English village pub with roaring open fires, fantastic food menu and plenty of real ales to wet your whistle after finishing your walking tour of the leeches. So I'm popping in for a drink here at the Victoria. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll be back with another video very soon. Please leave a comment, a like. And if you're not a subscriber, please do. It really helps the channel. Thank you very much for watching. All the very best to you. Happy Easter and I'll see you soon.